Hey there, my name's Christina, and if you've never watched my videos before, I've been playing guitar for the past year. And today, I wanna to take a look back at the past 12 months and see how much progress I've made over the past year. So the first thing that I was actually terrible at when I first started guitar was constantly hitting the body of the guitar while I was strumming. Most of the time I like to play with a pick, but constantly I would just be slamming on this part of the body and it made so much noise. I'll show you a couple of clips right now. It was, I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> I think the main reason that this was happening is because I had really poor posture and still kind of have a bit of bad posture. I recommend if you're gonna play, make sure you're sitting up straight, hold the guitar facing away from you and strum. I know when you're first learning, it's really tempting to kind of play like super angled back, looking at the neck of the guitar, but you should really focus on standing up straight, pointing the guitar away from you and strumming like this. Now the second thing that I noticed that I did kind of poorly at the start was my timing. And I mean, I think that is also a thing that comes with time, no pun intended. At the beginning, I wasn't really keeping time when I was playing songs. So I was kind of just making up the time, trying to strum and sing at the same time. I wasn't really doing it very consistently and it didn't really sound that good. Just come over here, sit next to me. Now, I mean, if you're not really trying to sound good for anyone else, this is all fine and dandy, but at the end of the day, you should really kind of focus on like getting the beat down and like play with a metronome. There's tons of apps online or on your phone that you can use to keep time or even play along with the song. It'll help you actually keep the rhythm consistent instead of going all over the place. Another thing that I think every guitar player struggles with, especially in the beginning, is finger strength and especially with bar chords. So when I first began, luckily way back in the past, I kind of knew a couple of really basic chords. So for me, those movements were like super simple, like doing a G or a C was like not that difficult. Uh, initially, I mean, over time, my fingers would get tired, but then bar chords came along and that was a whole new thing that was super, super hard for me. I remember in the beginning, there was a couple of times I would just look at my fingers and they were shaking and they were just all dry and roughed up. Fuck, look at my hands. You can't see it because it's not gonna focus. Look at these fingers, they're hurting a bit. And I think the easiest way to improve your finger strength is to just keep playing and eventually your fingers will get nice and calloused up and uh, you'll just be able to play for longer. In terms of improving your bar chords, I think the biggest thing is, well, practice. Unfortunately, I don't think there's like really any magical way to be good at bar chords. For me, I found the biggest thing was just practicing and trying to focus on putting my finger on the entire fret at once instead of kind of like lacklusterly holding down all the, all the strings. And one way I also found it was easy to improve is if I played a bar chord that didn't require my second finger. So what I could do is put down both fingers at once and then kind of use the second finger as extra strength while playing. And one last thing that I noticed that is dramatically different from when I first began playing to now is just my finger awareness. I feel like when you first start learning to play the guitar, it feels like you just can't control your fingers. Like you have no strength, you don't have good dexterity, you don't have, like your fingers aren't used to doing such specific individual things with each, with each finger. So I think one thing that's greatly improved is just now I have a little bit more control of my fingers, unless it's some kind of crazy movement of my pinky because that one's still, um, not that good, <laughs> but I generally have way more control over my fingers and a lot more strength in each of them. So I'm able to play the chords much cleaner and for much longer. One thing though is my strumming hand definitely doesn't have as much finger awareness as I wish it did. I think once I start doing a little bit more finger style that will improve, but at the moment is not very good. So um, that's one thing that I really do want to improve upon in the next couple months. 
So now I want to talk about looking ahead and what I really want to learn. And the first thing kind of touches on what I just said, and it's learning finger style. Um, a lot of people have asked me like, hey, learn finger style or do more finger picking. Um, in the beginning, I tried learning that, but then I realized I should really focus on getting strumming patterns down and kind of getting really good at that before skipping far ahead and um, doing finger style. I like doing easy things, just like probably everybody else. So I've kind of just stuck to what I've been good at and haven't really um, ventured far ahead to try something new in terms of that. So I think that is the next thing I really wanna work on because there's some really, really, really cool songs that I could learn that have finger style in them. Um, so I think that's something I really wanna work on. And the second thing I really wanna focus on going ahead is continuing to practice often. So I'm gonna sound like the lamest person ever when I say this, but you have to practice often to be good at guitar. And I know everyone says that and it's the like most classic thing that any guitar teacher will ever tell you, but if you do not practice, you will never get good at guitar. If I didn't pick up the guitar and practice at least once a week, there's no way I'd be able to do half the stuff that I do now. So I'd say if you can put aside like even 15 minutes every day or every second day to start playing the guitar, it just becomes such a habit. Like whenever I'm bored or like just hanging around at home, I want to pick up the guitar. I leave it in like a really open space so it's easily accessible and easy for me to grab and I just start playing, but just take it out and play it. One other thing too is I want to start learning some chords outside of the basic chords. If you look up lots of songs, eventually you realize they all kind of have the same chords. Like now I don't have that much difficulty looking up a song and being like, oh, I know all the chords. I just kind of have to get the strumming pattern down and like sing along with it. And sometimes it's pretty, pretty easy. So I think now I want to kind of start learning some like um, more sophisticated chords or whatever. I don't know, sophisticated, does that make sense? Uh, just basically some more complex chords that aren't just the basic ones so that when I look up songs um, that don't have basic chords, I don't just like skip past it. I can actually be like, okay, I'll take the time to learn this and then I'll know the weird chords instead of just having to look them up every single time. I also wanna try and do more ear training and improving my technical skills looking ahead. Um, <laughs> Yeah, uh, if you look at my first, I think my month video or my like week video, I when I was doing Justin Guitar, he was talking about ear training and blah, blah, blah. Well, um, I kind of abandoned Justin Guitar, even though he was like really super helpful. I was kind of just doing my own thing for the past several months. So I think I'm gonna go back and kind of start doing more ear training because for some songs, when I'm playing the guitar and like listening to the song at the same time, I can figure out the chords, but I have a hard time just listening to a song and being like, oh, that's a G, obviously. Like, are you stupid? You should know that's a G. Like, I can't tell if that's a G or a C unless maybe I get lucky. And lastly, potentially getting a new guitar. Um, my coworkers have probably gone crazy listening to me talk about this for the past several months because I've told them I want to get a new guitar, whether it's a new acoustic or electric. I don't really know because guitars are really expensive. Yeah, I don't know what I want to get. I, I really just want to get something new. This guitar has been great and it's treated me well over the past several months, but it definitely doesn't sound amazing and um, I could probably get something nicer that I would enjoy playing a little bit more. I just have to make up my mind and decide what. So that's something coming up in the future I want to look into. So in conclusion, if you're wondering how good you're going to be at guitar after a year, it really varies. So you could practice for an hour a day, every single day for 365 days and just not get very good. But you could also become an amazing musician or like, I don't know, take off on the internet and like become some famous musician guy. I don't know. I mean, it's just not realistic for you to be able to practice guitar every single day for like an hour because I mean, life gets in the way and there's other priorities that come into focus. So my biggest suggestion is if you do want to play guitar is to just practice often, practice as often as you can. And I mean, it might take you a year to get to the level that some people get at after two years or vice versa. Like you could get amazing in three months, depending on the kind of person you are and what kind of talents you have. As cheesy as it sounds, it's all about the journey and not the destination. If you enjoy playing and hey, if you don't sound good when you sing and play at the same time, but you think it's fun, do it. I mean, Sometimes I sing and sound ridiculous, but I'm having a blast. Anyways, that's my guitar progress after one year. If you've been playing the guitar, let me know how it's been going for you. And I'll probably post a couple more videos about guitar. I don't really know what else I could talk about. Uh, I might talk about gear. I might talk about a couple other things that I've noticed, but hey, I'm no expert. So take everything I say with a grain of salt. I'm just here learning and trying to share it with people along the way. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.
One thing I forgot to mention is I actually posted a guitar video that shows every month how I improved over the past year. So if you want to check that, I'll add a link down below and hope you enjoy it.